Hello, fourth graders, and welcome back to music class with Mrs. Broski. I hope you guys are doing well and that you are practicing as best as you can with your recorder. So let's go over just a few little things. Okay, let's talk about the six essentials first. We didn't do that last week, so I try to do that every so often to keep that nice and fresh in your brains, right? So we have our staff, five lines, all music is written on. We have our treble clef. The treble clef is at the beginning of the song, and it tells us that those notes belong to that particular staff. We have our time signature, the thing that looks like a fraction. Um, most of them say like four over four. That means how many beats are in each measure. It measures the boxes. The boxes are divided by bar lines, and the double bar line goes at the end of the song. That means stop. The song is over, right? We've also done quarter notes. The ones that are black inside, they are filled in. They get one beat, one second. Half notes, two beats. They are not filled in inside. They are white inside, okay? So we're going to do a lot of playing today. So get your recorders ready. Let's go over how we hold it, right? The recorder in your right hand is where you will begin. Be sure to hold the bottom and move it to your chin. With your left hand, give a thumbs up on the back hole, it must go. Press one, it's B. Press two, it's A. Press three, it's G, you know. All right, so get on ready. We're going to go to our very first song, which is Pirio, right? It's our warm-up song. We're going to start with G, so all three are covered in the front, plus the one that is completely covered in the back. So four holes should be completely covered, remember, 100%. You're blowing like bubbles, not too hard, not too soft, but just right. All right, I'm going to count you into four, because that's what my time signature tells me to do, and we're going to play together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Good. Sorry about that little mistake. Remember, even teachers make mistakes. But also remember, I'm actually backwards, which is a little trickier for me. I'm backwards, so you can be mirroring me. So always be aware of that. Um, reminder about the rests, the ones that look like little, hello, I'm a little hat, right? The ones that look like little hats, those are half rests. They get two beats shh, shh, of silence. Also remember that those little commas, they are breath marks. That's a reminder to breathe. If you need to take a breath, please, I implore you, breathe. No one should be passing out at the end of any of these songs, okay? We're going to do Pirio again, but this time you'll notice I took away all my little cheat sheets, okay? One of our biggest goals is by the end of the year, not just to be able to play the songs, which yes, is a great goal, and we should be able to do that, but also to really understand what exactly it is we are doing here in music class. My goal for you guys is really to be able to read music, to be able to appreciate, hey, these little black dots all over, they mean something. They mean a letter. They mean a letter that I gotta play. They mean an amount of, of, of seconds. I gotta hold it down, those beats. So um, we're gonna actually start, especially with our warm up songs today, doing it without my little cheat sheets, okay? So here we go, here's Pirio. Again, make sure that your right hand's on the bottom, left hand is on the top, you're mirroring me. And let's go. One, two, three, four. next one is Merrily We Roll Along, otherwise known as Mary Had a Little Lamb. Okay, I want to remind you with all of these songs. I know I feel like I'm doing a lot of reminding you, right? I know, I'm sorry. But I do want to remind you that when you're sending me a video of yourself, slow down. 
where are you going? A lot of you are sending me videos and they're fantastic, don't get me wrong, but they're very fast. And when we're fast, we tend to make a lot of mistakes and not quite really sink into what we're doing. Don't be in a rush, okay? I wanna hear all of those notes, almost like every single one of these notes matter. So we wanna make them nice and clear, as clear as we can. Here we go, Beverly, we roll along. We start this one on B, so my top one is only covered as well as my back one, which is always covered, right? We're never wibbly wobbly fingering. We, for A, we put down our second. For G, we put down our third. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, good job, guys. Beverly, we roll along without my little cheat sheets. Get ready. The note's the same. Now, if this is too hard for you, and for some of us it might be, that's okay. Uh, you can always look in your book. You can always be writing them down if you want to, okay? Um, but again, I really want you guys, especially at this point that we've been playing these for a little while, I really want you to be comfortable enough doing these without um, having my little letters all over the place. One, two, three, four. Okay, good. I don't know if you guys noticed, it's probably a little hard for you to see because I'm on my computer and I'm kind of recording it that way. But when, even me, even the music teacher, I'm always looking at the music, okay? Ne this is not about memorizing a song. This is not about doing it as fast as you can and memorizing it. Um, even me, uh, it's all about still following the notes, okay? Follow the notes in order, like you're reading a book. Our next song is Lullaby. So get ready again. Let's remind and review. We're going to keep our right hand on the bottom, our left hand on the top. This one starts with the letter G, right? There's no rest in this song, so it's just quarter notes. The ones that are black inside get one beat. The ones that are not black inside, they're not filled in. They get two beats. Those are half notes, okay? Um, the cool thing about this song is that the first line and the second line, exactly the same. So super easy. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One of the trickiest things, like I said last week, same thing, is going to be from going to B to G. Because now you got to go from one finger automatically to three without with kind of skipping over that too. So be aware of that. Here we go. Lullaby without my little cheat sheets. One, two, three, four. Good job, guys. All right, guys. So I know a lot of you guys like jazz buns from last week. Um, I want to go over just a few little things with you that I really kind of missed. So let me get my little pen up here. And uh, we're going to start with this little four over here. And you see there's this big, thick black line over here, right? Um, this actually means that there's four measures of silence, not four beats. Think about it. Each measure has four beats, right? And each one of those, there's four of them. So four times four is four, eight, 12, 
16, right? So really, at the very, very beginning, there are 16 beats of silence. It's almost like this mega rest, okay? It's like this big giant rest at the beginning of the song. It's part of our introduction, yes, but it basically means that we are still getting ready. I'm still going to count you into four. Remember, we do this entire song like four times in a row, okay? The best thing you're going to do about this song is you're just going to keep practicing it, okay? I think you guys are going to really get this eventually, so definitely keep on practicing it. Here we go. I will always count you in. Make sure that uh, I'm ready to play. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to start our next song. And when I say start, I really do mean start. We're going to probably do this song in about two, maybe three weeks. Hopefully today and next week we'll kind of have an idea. Um, and the reason why is that this is actually the hardest song you guys are going to have to do. I know, I know. Why am I telling you that? I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It is. It's a tricky song. And the reason why it's so tricky is because it is very fast. And a lot of the times when I say it's a fast song, a lot of the students want to kind of just go, oh, I got it. Right? But it's not. There's more than that. There's actually correct fingering. There's correct note. There's a correct way to blow. So we're going to kind of do all of that with this next song. It's called Hot Air and Holy Fingers. Okay? Um, because hot air, we're kind of giving our hot air when we're blowing into the recorder, right? And holy fingers covering up those holes, right? So I know it's a, it's a silly title, um, but it's a great song. I love this song, and I choose this song because it really is a challenge, okay? A lot of you now are like, I got it. I got merrily we roll along, hot jazzy buns, I got. 
but this song's a real challenge and I'm just kind of warning you guys. So today we're gonna only do a couple of measures. Um, so once again, at the very beginning, you'll notice over here where I'm circling over here, we have this big, um, is almost like this mega rest. It's really four measures. So it's really 16 beats of silence at the very, very beginning, right? Now there's a whole bunch of other symbols. There's this, there's this. We're gonna get up to all of that. But right now, we're not. Let's just, one thing at a time, okay? Let's just name the notes over here. So try to name them with me. This one is G, A, B, A, G. So that first measure is G A B A G bum 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 bum. You'll also notice. Let me get another color just to make it a little bit different. You'll also notice that this note over here we haven't learned yet. It's got a little bridge over here, right? You see how there's a little bridge there? Um, try to, my best to draw it on this program. A little bridge. Well, this is called an eighth note. Eighth with the th at the end of it. E i g h t a t h. Um, an eighth note it doesn't get eight beats. I know that's a little misleading. It's not. It actually gets a half of a beat. Not a half note. I know. I know. You're saying that's a little complicated, and you're not lying. It is a little complicated. It actually gets just half of a beat. So two of those are actually going to equal one quarter note because the quarter note gets one beat, right? So this is almost like two of these need to fit into one quarter note. So it's going to come a lot faster. Bum, 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 bum. So those first new notes, bum, 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 bum. One more time. Bum, 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 bum. So we're actually squeezing those two eighth notes into one quarter note. Then we have over here, we're gonna continue naming our notes. We have A, G, A, B, okay? And then very similar to our first measure that we kind of had, it's gonna be G, A, B, A, G, A, B, A, G, good. And of course we have a little, whoopsie, that G didn't come out. Make that G. And we have our little quarter rest. We're actually gonna stop right here for today. So our goal within the next like two or so minutes, three minutes, we're gonna do just these four measures. Without the recorder, they go like this. G A B A G A G A B G A B A G A B A G Okay? That's what it sounds like. I'm gonna do it. That was with the letters. I'm gonna do it again. Again without the recorder, just kind of humming it. La 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 la. Okay? So, with the recorder, if you want to practice it again, go for it. But with the recorder, it sounds like this. So, let me make sure. So, left hand's on the top, right hand's on the bottom. Excuse me. what it's going to sound like okay so I'm going to do it again listen again okay your job for this week is to practice those four measures you want to go on you go on you go for it but don't go on until those four measures are comfortable and confident, okay? Because I'm not, it's, it's tricky. 
a lot of you are going to get frustrated. Please don't. It's okay. All right. Um, this is your first time doing this song. And that's why I kind of want to start now. So I'm hoping that within two months of, you know, playing the song, you are going to get it. It's not going to be so hard. Okay. Just watch my fingers. I'm trying to hold it up as close as I can. Okay, so no wibbly wobbly. It's G A B A G A G A B G A B A G A B A G. And that's it, guys. Work on that. Um, uh, do homework. When I give homework, it's really practicing. Fourth grade. I'm not giving homework where you're writing out a story or anything. Not really. I might give you one or two things um, in a few weeks to kind of write. But right now, your job is to practice, okay? Practice with your recorder. Um, send a video of you practicing either jazz buns or hot air and holy fingers to me at abroski at schools.nyc.gov. I do check every single week. I respond to every single person that sends me something. Um, you might send me something and I might give you some advice. I might say, okay, you know, really good job, but try to slow down a little bit. Take your time. I might give you something, okay, watch those fingering. Oh, so you do the wrong hands, okay? So I'm going to give you advice, okay? That's my job. I'm your teacher, okay? I'm going to give you advice on how to fix it, okay? So never never take it as, oh, I'm insulting you because I promise you I'm not. I'm just trying to help you make it a little bit better, okay? Okay. If you don't send me a video or anything of you practicing, I can't give you credit. And that kind of hurts my heart because I want to give you credit, especially if you are doing the work, okay? So please, please, please send a video, either Jazz Buns or Hot Air and Holy Fingers this week, okay? If you're, if you're a little unsure about Hot Air and Holy Fingers, that's okay. But try your best. That's all we can do, right? Have a fantabulous week, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.